What's good, everybody? In this video, I'm going to do an ACT and ACT review. I'm going to explain the thought process behind these problems, and hopefully that explanation can make the problems easy to solve. Really hope you enjoyed this video. So problem one say, what is A divided by A percent of A? So one thing we need to know, right? We know that when we start this problem off, we have A divided by. And anytime we want to find the percent of a number, right? Let's say we wanted to find 50% of 100. To do that, we would normally put that number over 100, and then we would multiply it by the second number that we want to find. So when we're solving this problem, we would have A divided by A squared over 100. And when we continue with this problem, we know the rules of fractions when we're dividing is going to turn into multiplication and we take the reciprocal. So at this step here, what we would have is 100 over A, and that will give us an answer choice of B. And in the second, second problem, we're now going to look at the problem where we have exponents and variables as exponents. So then the second problem, guys, we're dealing with exponential equations, and that means that we have variables as exponents. Wrote that wrong. And what we want to do is figure out what the x value is. But before we could do that, guys, we have to have the same base. So I'm going to rewrite both 8 and 16 so they have a base of 2. So if I rewrite this, 2 to the third power is the same thing as 8, and then we have 2x minus 4 on the outside. And then when we do 16, we have 2 to the 4th power, and that will be the same thing. Now at this step, what we're going to do is drop our base, and we're going to create an equation. So now I have 3 times 2x minus 4 is equal to 4 times x. And we could solve for x at this point. So after I distribute, I'm going to get 6x minus 12 is equal to 4x. Okay. So I combine my x's, I have negative 12 is equal to negative 2x. And once I divide by negative 2, I'm going to get 6 is equal to my answer. So anytime you see a problem like this where you have exponents in your variable, you should automatically think, hey, I have to rewrite my bases so that we have the same base and then solve. In this problem, guys, they are now giving us basically an expression and they want us to combine these expressions by subtracting. So this is going to be very similar to polynomials and operations with polynomials. So if we're doing a minus b, we're doing 3x or 3 times x minus 7 minus 3x minus 7. And the biggest thing with this problem is, guys, is putting them in parentheses and separating them with a subtraction sign. So what happens is after we distribute, we have 3x minus 21 minus 3x plus 7. So what happens, negative 3x, positive 3x cancel out. Negative 21 plus 7 is going to give me negative 14. And my final answer should be b. So this is going to check to see if you understand how to combine polynomial expressions. Just make sure that that second parentheses that you put in, that second um, term, I'm sorry, expression, you put it in parentheses, and that subtraction sign should change the signs of both. They're going to test you for that. In this problem, guys, we're now dealing with ratios and angles. But there's a trick to this. So it says in the diagram below, the ratio of b to a is 7 to 2. Right, that's important, and they want us to know what is the value of b. I mean, a minus b. Oops, not a minus b. B minus a. So for us to figure this out, we need to know that b plus a is going to equal to 180 degrees. That's the measure of all straight lines. So I'm going to create an equation: 7x plus 2x is equal to 180. When I simplify, I'll get 9x is equal to 180. We divide to get x is equal to 20. And now what we need to do, this is not the answer. This is a trick. 
Now we need to multiply 20 by 7. So we have, let's see, 20 times 7 minus 2 times 20 so that we could get the value of B minus A. So I'm going to have 140 minus 40, and the difference between these two values should be 100 degrees. So when you have a ratio like this, guys, just remember that the hint they gave you is B plus A needs to equal to 180 for a straight line, and they give you the ratio here. We just create the equation, solve, and plug it back in. So we're going back to proportions again. And what I want you guys to understand is that this is a little bit different. Typically, there's only one missing term, but in this problem, they gave us two. So that's just to confuse us, guys. We're going to do the same exact thing, which is cross multiply, create an equation, and solve. Just because x is in more than one spot, it does not change the process. So we have 3 times 12, which gives me 36. And x times x equals x squared. Now, once we find the square root, we know that the square root of 36 is going to be equal to x. And the square root of 36 is just 6. And this would be our final answer. So if you get a problem like this, guys, just remember, go back to what you remember about solving proportions. The steps are still the same. They just try to trick you with this problem.